also at the, the camp as well, off on the red carpet. You know, their logos are going to be on the backdrop. And, uh, uh, you know, for them to be able to support a cause like this to show exactly um, where, where their heart is and show that they really care. Uh, because sometimes you have to wonder if, you know, if people really care about the, the kids. Right, that's <laughs> true. Know, I mean, that's true. I mean, that's like, true. Uh, but the children are the future, so we, we, we have to care. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, sometimes, uh, we, we were talking about earlier how life can get so busy um, that, that sometimes you don't really have enough time, but it's like for us to really make that time. Right, uh, right, right. Uh, because when we were younger, I know my father, he made time for me and my mother made time for me as well. And um, I just want to be able to uh, give this back to the, the, the youth and, and uh, help to elevate them as much as I uh, possibly can. can. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you, you, you have a proven success story with your own career, how uh, starting early and mm -hmm. the discipline, how that you know, basically yeah. elevated you in life. Yes. And for some, you know, I'm going to say, especially for African-American uh, males, they need that. They need mm -hmm. that boost. Yeah. They need that discipline. Yeah. Um, they need to be taught early because if not, they kind of get lost in the they shuffle. They kind of get lost in the shuffle. Yeah. And uh, that, that's why one of the things uh, I, I tell them about is letting them know that it doesn't happen overnight right and it's it's hard work any successful person and I they can go out there and do the research themselves and see how hard they have to work whether it's a successful actor yeah whether it's a, a professional athlete whether it's a scientist doctor they have to spend years upon years of studying and being consistent and and all doing it over and over again and not quitting uh, right. uh, because uh, um, that's one of the philosophies that I learned like I would mention to you earlier I have songs, I have for uh, regular artists, and I have songs with, you know, with Pitbull and Florida. You know you gotta uh, get it to us, right? So we can... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> send it to you. We have, we have the powers that be to play okay. your music, so <laughs> yeah, yeah have, get it to us. I have a us. song, uh, uh -huh. one, one is called Drop, and the other one is called Take Me There, the remix, and I have a lot of uh, other songs as well. I've been doing songs for um, quite some time, and the way that happened with the music was... You know, sometime in life you never think, never know how things are gonna happen. Just like me uh, going to play football, not knowing that you could get a scholarship, and uh, just really doing my coach a favor. Right. It took him like a month to convince me to play football because I, um, I didn't want to play because football and soccer was in the same season. So right. it was very, I gotcha. very difficult decision. It's like asking an American to switch from football to soccer in junior <laughs> year. <laughs> it's not gonna have to be like what. <laughs> I ain't play no, I ain't play no football, you know? um, um, so, so, uh, yeah, so it, it, it's, it was a very, you know, difficult decision for me to do, but, uh, um, I've always tried to, I've always tried to put my best foot forward and I always tried to, um, um, focus on the steps. Like my father told me, do your best in the contest, God will do the rest. Mm -hmm. And uh, those so, simple words, simple words, carries you for yeah, the rest and, of your uh, life. <laughs> and he used to rhyme, so that's one of the reasons, yeah. that's probably where I got it from. <laughs> the rap, the, the, the <laughs> uh, you know, I have, a, I have a few songs too. I'm working with a producer here in town, his name is uh, DJ Black. So, um, he does uh, some. Uh, he does some uh, local Caribbean parties as well. Okay. So, uh, you know, I have a few songs with him, but uh, my producer, main producer is uh, um, that I worked with in, in, in Florida, in uh, Blackout, uh, from, um, from the Blackout Movement. He uh, he did the song, This Is Why I'm Hot by Mims. Yes. Yeah, he's the one that did that. And, this is uh, why I'm hot. So he's the one that produced the song, uh, uh, the song with Flo Rida, the drop song, the, the, the song with... Uh, Pitbull. Okay. Um, he produced that and and uh, a lot of other songs that I did. We would love, yeah, we would love to have your music. Oh yeah, I, in I, our I, email. So yeah, we yeah, I'm, I'm gonna email put it, it in over. rotation. I'm get the information. Uh, I'm gonna send it over here. Uh, uh, both those records uh, actually uh -huh. uh, take me there. It was got up to like number forty five in the country. Oh my gosh! And, uh, you, the, uh, my radio guy keep talking about it after today. This was like a couple couple of years back. He said, Mom, you're, you're this close, you know. You know you're, 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 yes, seven more spots. It would have been out of here. And, uh, but what we needed, like, the pop, you know, the pop um, radio station to pick it up to get that more, right. you know, the more exposure. 
and it's, and the same thing happened um, with it's with uh, another song called "It's My Birthday." Um, when that debuted, that debuted at uh, um, uh, number one on the rhythmic radio. Wow! And then uh, the same the same thing happened with that with the pop stations. But it got signed to it got signed as a single, and uh, you know it never really they never you know did what they said they were gonna going to do. Right, uh, right, but, right. Uh, but you know, then you're you're independent. You're independent with music. I'm independent now. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm in, I always been independent. Just that one song was um was um signed, and I was kind of reluctant to uh, sign it, but because I wanted to get that that extra push. Now, and everything that I'm doing, you know, is you know the talents there. Um, I know what work. I know what work it takes to yeah. um, get the things done. You know, I just need uh, the you know the support right you know? now do you perform live anywhere yeah um when i when i when i uh re release my records <laughs> i did a few few performances uh -huh. um down in miami uh, uh corpus christi mccallum texas uh we did went to new york glow and we also performed um you know at a, a few stage shows right where, right right you know where, where it's really nice to see when you look into the crowd and people actually singing your song and right. you don't have to sing it and you'll be like wow and so uh, you're, radio guy you're a CEO entrepreneur artist philanthropist what you do you cook too <laughs> yeah yeah I cook see uh, <laughs> I was laughing but <laughs> no but all of this all of this uh, came from my father my father said go on and you need to learn these these things so you can be independent okay you know, so even cooking cooking yeah and, and everything you have to be able to take care of yourself and 